Hello, hello. I wanted to do a final video before our sale begins this Friday at 9 a.m. in Troy before I got a uh, little too hot from carrying out all the uh, debris that we had to remove from here. Uh, so, um, if you're confused where we will be, if you know how to get to the, Troy, the square in Troy, if you're coming to 31, it says downtown, you just follow that and you hit the square. And then we are across the way from let's see bird drugs and we are right next to echo which is a smoothie bar here in troy and i've actually kind of tagged that location uh in this post so if you click on it and you can get to echo we're right next door like literally i can knock on their door from this doorway right here so uh final video you know i always show you a video of the mess we get and stuff like that uh kenny did a lot of work got everything organized I came back up worked on the lighting getting the trash out setting up the register so we'll be ready to go remember um, there are stairs we can't take that away uh, we ask that you be very careful I've got them lit I've got them clean um, but you can't get past coming upstairs to get here uh, th there's there's no way possible and um, if you plan on buying anything large because there are some large uh, you know, storage pieces that were used in clothing department stores, stuff like that. Uh, make sure you bring help. Uh, it's just me and Kenny, and so, you know, we can only do so much. So, if you want to, I'll go ahead and turn around the video. Here, how about this? I'll get a picture of the outside so you kind of see where we are. See? There's the drugstore. There's Echo. And that's us, right next door. So, as you can see, look, I put up some Christmas lights. All right, we've got stuff on the shelf. Well, the ledge over here, some bow makers, old bottles, more old bottles. All right, so it is like a warehouse. I mean, it's just, we made it all fit. So in each room, you know, You'll find a little bit of everything in there. There's all sorts of weird stuff. There's a mop bucket in here. There's a vacuum. I mean, it's just kind of there's stereo equipment everywhere. Uh, we have boxes of hangers. After I get done with this video, I'm going to put them in bundles of 10. And so we'll be selling them by the bundle. They're all wood hangers, the entire box. So be sure you uh, check those out. You know, I think I'll probably price them $6 for a bundle of 10. Uh, more bottles, lots of displays, pretty much anything and everything will be for sale up here. Uh, if it's a display, if it's a shelf, whatever, it's yours. And see, that's where I've got to take out the trash when we get done, that whole room. That's going to be our hold room. There's also some stuff for sale in there. So, all right, let's see here. See, it's a little bit of everything. I mean, you know, chairs boxes of old wrapping paper an old metal light fixture shoe sizers i like this uh little piece right here cool little display unit with four little pedestals some old typewriters uh we have a lot of the shelf brackets here we didn't there's wasn't enough room to put together see like all these little brackets that would go here on the end of this uh clothing rack where you would put glass shelves we have the glass we have the shelf brackets uh, we even have the little retainer or to put your, you know, like say you have some cell displays or something like that on the end of your racks. Uh, we have these vintage uh, wrapping paper holders, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's those kind of scattered everywhere. I think there's five or six of them. Uh, there's also a lot of old price tag makers, printing, uh, whatnot, little Monarch machines. They're kind of scattered everywhere. Lots of little file cabinet drawers, things that, you know, they sell pretty good in the booth. <coughs> Let's see. Fluorescent light fixtures, more racks. Uh, there's racks that are branded. There's racks that aren't branded. Uh, there's fans. There's advertising. There's doors. Here's a cool little door in little. It's probably about 20 inches wide. All right. We have lots of garland. Uh, there's some here. There's some in the area where we have all the other Christmas stuff. And it looks like this was stuff that was uh, maybe once for sale, whatever. This was Stanton's. Uh, so I guess they maybe once had it for sale. Uh, 
more hooks, displays, like I said, shoe racks, tag makers, shelves, yeah. And old stereo equipment. I mean, we just found bundles of it in here. Doesn't look like anything that great. Probably stuff used in department stores, you know, to play the uh, overhead music while you shop. But uh, it's here. And I also like the three-piece wicker shelf set. Had some emails on that. All right. Here's another bunch of shelves right here. There's a couple of these that are not put together. Uh, these are shoe racks. I guess you could, uh, you know, improvise, use them for something else. Um, whatever you can come up with. More stuff. And there's some cool little things. Like, check out this hat rack right here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Neat. Neat. That's a big Monarch machine. And let's see. Right here, this looks like old dressing room someone took down. Um, you know, I don't know if you need anything like that, but I know some of uh, my customers are in the clothing business, boutiques and whatnot, and so if you are, uh, kind of some makeshift, actually not makeshift, they were dressing rooms. And here is our odds and ends, uh, clothing bars, uh, racks that were not put together, uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff in there. Whole bunch of stuff to go through here. All right, let's see, and I managed to get all the rooms lit. And this is back here, as you can see, cool little table they're sitting on with wheels. I really like that. Uh, be great little sewing table for someone. Uh, we got the old Nike shoe rack over there. Cool little rolling rack up top. Uh, lots of plastic hangers here. Hoping somebody just comes along and wants all of those. We'll make you a deal. All right. Let's see. Yeah, and see all the chairs. There's cool chairs. I like these. I like the vinyl with the chrome. Pretty neat. And screen doors, don't know why, but there's two or three of those. Oh, we also have win old window panes. Uh, I believe most of them are six and nine pane. I'll have them for eight bucks a piece. Let's see, that's like three or four stacked up there, and we have a whole closet in the women's bathroom that's full. I just didn't want to put them out until I'd gotten all that trash out of the way, so I didn't have to keep tripping over them. All right. This room. Uh, let's see, merchandisers, I think growing up, my granddad used to, you know, I think I said this before, do his shirt displays on here. He'd have all his extras underneath and, you know, bust up here with everything all put together all nice and neat. Um, if you have a commercial business, you need some metal doors. Uh, you know, if you ever have a door that has broken or the glass broken in it, it gets pretty expensive. It looks like I've got a really large one and two smaller ones here. So if you're in the need for a metal and glass door there you go i've got a lot of these uh four leg round circular whatever you want to call them clothing racks as you can see the racks kind of fold up flat uh, i also have um, all the hoops for them are in the closet right here so we do have all the parts and i believe there was also some glass center pieces that mount into the top part so you can display items on top of the clothing rack um Here's the bottom half of something that used to be. So if you want to display some pants or whatnot, it looks like a female form. So there you go. Um, vintage light shades. Pretty cool. They're kind of spread out all over the place. All right. Let's keep going. Pegboard. It's just a little bit of everything. All right. And right here. Uh, we won't go there yet. Let's go over here. This room's with all the letters that we could find. You know, there's more shelves, uh, lots of letters. Uh, we tried to spread them out where you can get to them. See, so like up here, we only have certain letters that are stacked up, so you don't have to dig through them, and everything else is down low. Uh, there's some more of the shoe racks down here that I was mentioning that aren't put together. Um, over here, this is a big, huge three-drawer. So you pull out all the drawers. They got all the cool little wooden letters in them. I had to decide if I want to sell the letters with the drawer or bag them all up and sell them separately. I'll make that decision while I'm finishing up today. Uh, but as you can see, there's three different sizes of letters. Uh, there's ones that are roughly probably 30 inches tall. There's ones that are 18 inches. And then these look uh, 8 to 10 inches. 
Um, let's see here. Big, tall screen door. Looks to be about seven, eight feet. Really tall one. More commercial chairs. Some more display stands you can see. You know, you can get creative. You don't have to keep the gold. You can paint that stuff. It's got the plexiglass tops and everything, so you don't have to worry about breaking it uh, if, you, if it were glass. I really like that chair. So, <laughs> all right, let's keep going. This room had all the other Christmas decorations. You saw all the garland. There was no real way to display it in here. So in here, there's just boxes you can go through. You can buy the whole box. You know how I feel about Christmas decorations. So you just start stacking up those boxes, and uh, we'll make sure you leave with them. There's snowmen and elves and, yeah. See? Random shelf sitting here. Yep. All right. And right here, we kind of put our advertising. There's boxes of different advertising. See, like, you know, this is just a flimsy little poster for Lee Jeans. Uh, there's all sorts of little things like that laying around. There's these old ads for Levi's. The old businesses that used to be around. Uh, you know, they're light fixtures. Right here, we have these uh, letters. There is a printing press. There's a small press, and there is a much larger press. I will have to find it, uh, but this is what all the letters go in. You can make your own, um, you know, little store flyer. See, like right here, you've got your cardboard stock, and you could run it through the machine with the ink. That's pretty much all you need is ink. You put your letters in, run your own card stock. See, and you can put a cool little vintage-looking... Uh, sales announcements, price cards, whatever you want to call them, all over your business. And see, you've got the half stock right here where you can cut these in half and run them through there. Pretty neat stuff if you are in business for yourself. More shelf brackets, like I said, they're everywhere. There's just odds and ends. These old traffic signal glass pieces. These could be used for something. Check out these. I see, I'm sorry if you can't see. Got these old, they're heavy metal printing. See, it says dollar days. There's, there's probably about six or seven of those big ones like that. All right, let's keep going. Simple room. Here's where most of the shelving is. Um, the way this shelving works is you've got your long pieces over here, and you've got your short end pieces over here. They connect together. Uh, then they have glass pieces that go for the shelves amongst them. You can also incorporate clothing racks, as you see here, where they attach to the side. Um, let me back out. There's a lot of these wooden units right here. And when I said heavy stuff, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, I think they're great. I think someone could find a good use for them, but they are massive and heavy. I'm not going to understate that. All right, let's go to the next room. Just a little bit of odds and ends. We got doors, wooden shelves, uh, this rattan fan, which I thought was kind of cool. Uh, you know, it's not motorized, anything like that. The blades come in and out, but just a neat, odd piece. Uh, all of these chairs match, so we put all these together. You'll find sets of twos and threes in different styles. Um, this magnificent picture right here with a floral motif. Uh, someone really needs this thing. Uh, but no, I'm, I'm just saying this thing would actually be pretty cool to take the flower out because the way it's recessed and everything, it would look pretty neat with something else in it. Um, some dividers, like I said, shelves, doors, planks, countertop. And another thing, um, our clients here are going to be turning this place that you see into loft apartments and so that's kind of why they've hired us to clear all of this out um, it's going to be you know students whoever um, as soon as we get this place cleaned out they'll start working on that they're going to completely gut the place and make it anew and uh, have some pretty cool loft apartments in downtown Troy um, we have two of these racks I just figured my light blue in the last room right there so we can't really go in there uh, there is a matching one. The legs fold up. It's got these little hairpin legs. It's pretty cool. 
Um, ha also have these little stands right here with these little decorative hairpin legs I think are really neat. And they have this backboard or this back, I don't know what you, back brace to them where you can put shelves. All sorts of uh, cool ideas here if you're into retail. You've got booths. Uh, you need some storage for the garage or you just want to come hang out with us on Friday or Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, either way, we'll take you. All right. So that is pretty much it. We start at 9 on Friday and Saturday. And like I said, if you did not get the instructions as to where we are, go back to the beginning of the video. I also tagged the business whose door is right next to the door where you go upstairs to find us. And that's all you need to do. Um, again, go to DothanEstateSales.com. You have a list of sales there. Scroll down a little bit, and they are in uh, order from the most upcoming to the latest. So, hope to see you this weekend. Bye, guys.